Come. Honey Heart C. Hello there, mini fans. I am so excited. Today we are going to be doing some quests here in Miss Fall. And I am mega excited because this is going to be one of our very, very, very first quests here. And this town is so beautiful. Since you're so new to Dundal, I thought we could start by asking around town to see what others have to say about the quarantine. Okay, so we're going to find out what is going on with this quarantine because if somebody's sick around here, then I probably shouldn't be here. That would not be good. I do not want to get sick. Hi, excuse me. What do you know about the quarantine? I keep texting my boyfriend in Yorvik City about the quarantine, but he says there's nothing in the news about a medical emergency. It's kind of weird, don't you think? This must be a military cover-up. Or aliens. Hmm. No information in other cities about it. It's almost like it's a made-up thing. Like somebody decided that there's a quarantine going on and that people are, quote, sick, but they're really not. Hi, excuse me, sir. What can you tell me about the quarantine? Are people really sick over here? No, oh, I don't feel sick. But you heard about the wolves, right? Oh, yeah, you got chased in by them. Do you think this has something to do with werewolves? I hope it clears up before the full moon. Werewolves? Ooh, hopefully that's not what's going on here. Hi, do you think there are werewolves around here? And what can you tell me about the quarantine? Quarantine? Well, I heard them say something is in the water, like a virus or something. Maybe it's radioactive waste. Whatever it is, I want no part of it. I'm sticking to bottled water, like nature intended. Maybe you should talk to the councilman. The councilman? But he's probably in on it. I don't think he's going to tell us anything. Was oh, this his big, great house? So let's talk to him. Councilman Skull. Hello. So what are you doing in Dundal? How did you get past the quarantine? Um... Relax, Councilman Skull. Agata is my friend. Oh. Listen to me, girls. The quarantine is no laughing matter. You could spread the infection. But have you actually ever seen anyone with the symptoms? I mean, what kind of sickness is it? I'm not a scientist. I read the report from Dr. Oplett and his team at Geo Emergency Doctors. GED, guys? Made things crystal clear. It's the water supply. It's a toxic mess. But as long as they're sprinkling money, I'm okay with everything. And it's best not to ask too many questions. <gasps> Wait a minute. He's being given money? Being given money by the GED? I don't like the sound of this. Something doesn't seem right. You have to ask questions. We need to find the truth. So we need to go to the source. The spring itself. Oh, here comes her horse. Come on, Agato. Follow me. There we go. She's riding off. All right, we better keep up. We should be really careful. If there's something going on with this water, I don't know if we should be around it. But look at how pretty it is here. <gasps> look at it. It's all blocked off. What does it say? It says caution. We should get off of our horses and do the rest of the way by foot. Okay, we can do that. Shh, do you hear that? Machinery of some kind. I've heard it by the string before. You need to find a place for us to hide. Let me go up here. This is kind of a good hiding spot. This tree is really big. We can hide behind it. Wait a minute, this tree over here is even better. There we go. We'll hide right over here behind the bushes. If there's something illegal going on here, we need evidence to convince the adults in town. Oh, my phone. We'll use the phone camera. Find a good spot and record what you hear. Okay, so I'm going to creep a little bit closer. Hide behind the tree. <gasps> there they are. I can see them. They're right down there. There's two guys working. Oh, I can hear them. There they are. I can hear them. So let's record some of that. Man, this is hard work. I need to hydrate. Do you have a bottle I can borrow? Just take a drink from the spring. It's the same stuff. Yeah, but boss said. In town, yeah. We have to keep up the act. But it's not like anyone is watching us out here behind that bush up there. Ooh, yeah. Quality H2O. <gasps> Those cheats. Huh? Someone there? <gasps> it's just birds. It's just birds. Come on, let's get this tanker to the drop spot. Ooh, something is totally going on. Okay, did you hear that? The bottled water and the spring water are the same. It's just an act. Please tell me you recorded that. Let me double check the phone. So we know the water's not dangerous, but why would they lie about it? Follow that tanker truck to find out. There they go. There they go. We're losing them. Come on. Okay, she's following. Good. Hopefully they don't look in the rear view mirror. Come on. Where are they going? <gasps> they stopped. They stopped. They stopped. Oh, they're going to see me. Gotta come back over here. Take my camera again and record them. Okay, careful. Careful, careful. Okay, this should be out of their sight for the rear view mirrors. Where is that guy? We've got to keep schedule. Ah, here he comes. There he is. These poor people in Dundle never knew that they were sitting on liquid gold. Huh? Did I hear something? birds again. Hey, look! Over there! Go stop them! Oh, I think they found us! I think they found us! They know we've been watching them! We have to run! We have to run! <gasps> They're trying to run after us! Good, they stopped. We lost them. Oh, man. They have horses. We need horses. It's not fair. But what about our truck? Forget it. It's a couple of idiots. Who's gonna take their word over ours? Okay, you had the video, right? See? Dr. Oplet has been lying to us about the water. It's all a hoax. But even if the water is safe, what is making the wolves go crazy? The 
The wolves here in Miss Fall haven't been quite as harmless as I promised, but it isn't their fault. We have to at least try and help them. I know where their packed den is. That's true. So even if the water is not good, something you cannot deny is, is that the wolves have been acting very aggressive. So something is definitely going on with them. Oh, look at how cute. There's a little bridge up there. So cute. Here we go. The den is just ahead. I don't hear any wolves. They must be sleeping. Good, they're asleep. Maybe there's a clue around here as to what they're eating and maybe we can figure out what's making them sick. <gasps> Someone's coming. Quick, find us a place to hide. <gasps> oh no, it's one of the workers. Come on, over here. We'll hide in the bushes. Here, doggy, 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 doggy. It's lunchtime. <gasps> it's one of the wolves. <laughs> Enjoy your nasty meat. <gasps> oh no. Oh, they're chasing after him now. Something is so strange around here. Whatever that man was feeding the wolves, it must be behind their change in behavior. Let's take a sample of the tainted meat. Okay, let me go get a sample. Ew, this meat looks really gross. It looks kind of moldy. Ew. Ew, there's some more over here. Ew, and it has this smell to it. This is not good. The wolves should not be eating this. Ew, I can smell it from here. Definitely something wrong with that. They're stealing our water and poisoning our wolves. Let's go get this meat tested. Oh, I'm glad you both are here. There's someone who's been looking for you. <gasps> you are grounded. Mama, but you won't understand what Agata and I found. Dr. Opla and his people aren't treating the spring. They're draining it. And the wolves, they're poisoning them. We brought you a sample of what the wolves have been eating. I'm leaving. I need to do something about this. Oh no, she took off. She is very passionate about this. I should probably go follow after her. My stubborn, beautiful girl that came from our Viking heritage. Oh, knowing my daughter, she's probably on her way to confront Dr. Oplet right now. Ooh, okay, let's go over there. I want to hear what he has to say. Not that I think he's going to tell us the truth. There he is. He's down by the water. We know exactly what you're up to, Dr. Oplet. Stealing water, poisoning wolves. Oh, these are some serious charges. We have it all on video. Isn't that right, Agata? So what do you want then? You want money? I can make sure you and your mother never hurt for cash again. Justice, give back our water. Stop poisoning our wolves. Not gonna happen. We have a deal with your councilman. See, I told you. Men, grab her. I need that phone. <gasps> no! Let go of me. No, they need to let her go. Look it up there. There's a swarm of hornets. Stirring up the hornet's nest. Here they come. <laughs> Get them, guys. Look at them now, they're swarming all over them. They're running. Oh, 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 the bees. Oh, get in the water. Ha ha. There goes the horse, he's riding off. He's riding back home. Oh, the police. This is Dr. Oplet. We have a security situation. Stop those girls. Let's go, quickly. Let's go talk to the councilman. Let's quickly go and confront him. <gasps> Hurry, it sounds like a car is following us. Oh no, there is! There's a car! <sighs> we did it. Now, let's go talk to the councilman. I don't think he's gonna admit anything, and I think he's aware of what's been going on. Unless he's just absolutely blinded by the money and didn't care what was going on as long as he was getting paid. Are you aware of what's been going on in your city? Don't tell me that you're spreading lies about the good Dr. Oplet. He and the Geo Emergency Doctors, GED, have been very generous with this town. Oh yeah? Take a look at this video then. Yeah, take a look at this. <gasps> oh my, whoa, this kinda changes everything. <gasps> oh no, it's her mother. I cannot wait to hear this. Oh no, mama. Well, as you know, Dundal has had a budget problem for years now, bad economy, no tourism. So when Go Energy Drinks came with me with an offer to buy our water rights, I had no choice. It was an investment in the town's future. It doesn't explain the quarantine or the wolves. I never knew about the wolves. I never signed up for that. My daughter is the only one showing any sense in this town. I should have trusted her from the start. Well, tell those thieves to pack up and go home. <gasps> We're not going anywhere. Oh no! Mrs. Drake, the CEO of GED. Oh, she's so evil, you guys. What is she doing here? We have a contract. Who are you? What happened to Dr. Oplet? Dr. Oplet's employees were terminated moments ago. I've, I've been dying to fire somebody. But your water rights belong to us. GED. GED, but our deal was with Go Energy Drinks. GED. How are we supposed to get by without a water supply then? Huh, maybe you should have elected someone with brains to ask those sort of questions before he signs a contract. Oh, yeah, that's true. I have a small brain, but a big head. 
Now, GED is a very reasonable company. We are more than happy to lease you access to the spring at a reasonable rate. Wait a minute, I remember the contract said something about building a pool for the community. Is that still true? I have these new swim trunks I want to wear. Oh, yes, the pool you mean at the country club that you sold us the land rights for. As per the contract, you're allowed access, Mr. Skull, but not the community. Oh, okay, good. Now I get to use my swim trunks. Soon we're gonna be cutting down all of these trees so we can have jobs rolling in. No, you can't do that. We have to stop them. Right, Mama? Of course we will. Oh, our spring is gone and now our forest too. Maybe if we can't do anything about that, we can still help the wolves. Let's go see if any progress is made on that meat. All right, how's it looking with the meat samples? I examined the meat that those wolves have been eating and you'll never guess what toxin I found. Wolf's bane. It happens that there is an herbal remedy that grows here on Yorvik. You can recognize it by the kidney-shaped leaves and small purple flowers. Bring me some of this ginger and I can start working on the remedy. Okay, good. So now we can help the wolves. Oh, here they are right here. There's some more of it right here. Oh, and some more. Okay, here you go. Here's the ginger. All right, let me mix it with some of the untainted meat here. There you go, a remedy. Thanks, Doc. I knew I could count on you. We need to give this to the wolves immediately so they can start feeling better. Look at the butterflies. We need to be careful though because the wolves are still very aggressive. Okay, let's get off of our horses. We don't want to startle the wolves. Okay, here we go. Very carefully. I don't want to get chased by wolves. Careful. <gasps> Did I hear something? No, okay. Keep going. Oh, <gasps> I can see them sleeping over there. Do you see them? There they are. There they are. They're totally in there sleeping. Okay, I better hurry. <sighs> Put down the meat. Okay, good. I did it. It feels so good to be making a positive difference again. Come on, let's go tell the doc the good news. Only time will tell if the herbal remedy will do the trick. I hear trucks, what's going on? <gasps> Here comes a truck. Oh no, the GED. Huh, so we're really shutting down just like that, huh? We just finished setting up the pump. Word came straight from the top. She said the whole Miss Fall operation is on hold. All right, cool. Let's leave work early then. Yes, they're leaving. We actually did it. Oh, I am so proud of my daughter. Oh, I'm a little sad that our adventure is coming to an end. Maybe new adventures will pop up. Oh, she's giving me a shirt. Thanks for everything you've done for us. Please keep this to remember our adventure by. Oh, you guys, is she not the sweetest ever? She totally gave me a fancy wolf print vest. Look at how cool. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. All right, mini fans. I hope you enjoyed this adventure here in Dundle. Please join me in my other Star Stable videos. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun. Oh, look at the cute little kitty cat. I have a feeling the adventures have just begun here. Have the best day ever, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, mini fans. All right, mini fans, who remembers? What type of plant was the wolf remedy that I had to find? Was it clover, ginger, or thyme? Bye, mini fans.